Good afternoon. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Tonight we're reading the Hanukkah mice. It was the first night of Hanukkah, and the mouse family scampered out of their mouse hole and up the basement stairs. They watched Mr. Silman, one of the big people, lift the shamus candle and say the prayers and light the first Hanukkah candle. Now it's time for Rachel to open her first Hanukkah gift. Rachel couldn't wait. She unwrapped the big box in the middle of the living room. She gasped at what she saw, an exquisitely carved dollhouse with a porch and white trim that wrapped around the outside like frosting on a wedding cake. Each window had a tiny set of lace curtains in it. Oh, Mama, thank you, thank you. Can I play with it now? Not until after dinner, said Mama. Mindy Mouse hugged her little brother's tail. M Michael, it's just the right size for us, she whispered. You're right, said Michael. The Mouse family watched as the Simons ate their holiday supper. They watched Rachel play with the dollhouse after dessert. They scurried behind Mr. Simon as he carried the dollhouse up to Rachel's room. They watched as Rachel fell asleep. And then they hurried to the dollhouse. Let's explore. Shh, said Mama Mouse. Hurry, said Papa Mouse, and they skittered inside the dollhouse. This place would be really cool if it had some furniture. Look at me, I can do somersaults, said Mindy. On the second night of Hanukkah, the Mouse family watched as Papa lit the second candle, and Rachel opened another Hanukkah gift. It was a miniature wingback chair and a little matching stool. Just right for my tiny feet, said Rachel. When the Mouse family visited the dollhouse that night, the wing chair was sitting in the living room. Papa Mouse settled down into it with a smile. On the third night, Rachel's gift was a little sofa, just right for a tiny family. And sure enough, later that night, the Mouse family found it next to the wingback chair. Look at me, said Mindy Mouse, bouncing up and down on the cushions as M Michael threw a pillow at her. On the fourth night, Rachel got a set of little plates. Just right for tiny latkes, she said. When the Mouse family saw the plates later, they had tiny latkes with applesauce on them. Yum, said Michael. I wonder where those latkes came from, Mama Mouse said. On the fifth night, there was a bureau in the bedroom and Hanukkah gelt, tiny, tiny Hanukkah gelt. And on the sixth night, two little beds appeared, each with a dreidel on the pillow. He said, Michael, giving it a spin. Wow, spinning the other one. I wonder where all this came from, 
said Mama Mouse. Then on the night number seven, Rachel's gift was a table and chairs. The Mouse family found them right in the middle of the dollhouse dining room. The table was covered with a special Hanukkah cloth. I wonder where the tablecloth came from, said Mama Mouse. On the last night of Hanukkah, Rachel's eighth gift was a new miniature menorah. Perfect, she said. When the menorah turned up on the dollhouse dining room table, together with a festive holiday meal, the Mouse family all gathered around. Our very own menorah for our very own Hanukkah, said Papa, and such wonderful food. He lit all eight little electric candles and said the prayers, just like the big people. Happy Hanukkah, said Mindy and Michael. Happy Hanukkah, said Papa. I wonder where all this came from, said Mama Mouse. <laughs> and from under the covers, Rachel laughed. Happy Hanukkah, everybody.